spring and jacket though, once that sun sets, it gets kind of chilly pretty quickly, but those winds, they are going to be light kicking game, not going to be an issue. So plan on that light jacket and a little bit of sunshine or a little bit of dusk, I should say, before that sun sets in the start of the game. Right now, we're going to start to see more sunshine. The clouds are still hanging over downtown, but things will slowly begin to clear as we go through the afternoon hours. We're not even at 70 degrees yet. It's been a while since we've been this cool to start uh, the first half of the day. That dew point is low. The windows can be open. It will start to creep up Saturday or Sunday into Monday, so you might want to uh, just keep that in mind. It's going to be a little bit more muggy for Labor Day. Current temperatures into the 70s in some locations up in northern Iowa. Mason City at 70. Ames is at 70 right now. Here in the capital city, again, we haven't even cracked that 70 degree mark, and we've got some winds out there. Not too bad. They are pretty quiet, and they'll remain quiet through the afternoon and the overnight hours as well. Taking a look, well, here's a look at that cloud cover. It is off to the southeast, continuing to push off with those systems to our south. We aren't going to have to deal with that. Our main rain is going to be out to the west. It is slowly but surely making its way here. Not all of it will make it here because we are very dry here in the state. So we have to overcome that dry air before any rain can fall through it. Here's a look at how the tonight plays out. Those clouds will move in from west to east across the state. So a little more cloud cover for your games in western Iowa. Then that rain starts to move in from west to east as well. Take a look. It's 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. The showers will be in western Iowa. I put Iowa State here in Ames. The kickoff is at 11 a.m. So here it shows Jack Trice is dry with some rain off to the west. As is continues. It does uh, fall off, so we will see if it dissipates in time and we can have a mostly dry game. Then the team out east. We're going to turn our attention. 630 kickoff for Iowa, and this model has it mostly cloudy. Other models have some showers around the area, so just be prepared with a rain jacket if you are going. But look at this. Totals not impressive at all here along I-80. We're going to see totals less than a tenth of an inch, a little bit more up in northern Iowa. As far as the game forecast, you and I are taking on the Cyclone likely dry for kickoff with some light winds. We will have those clouds around, so it may not feel all that warm. Plan on a sweatshirt, but pretty steady temperatures throughout. Miami of Ohio University, Miami University, Ohio, is coming to play against the Hawkeyes Kinnick Stadium. Showers are possible. It's more likely going to be dry than wet, but again, do plan on bringing a jacket, and those temperatures will be dropping off with that night game. Look at these temperatures. That's tomorrow, folks. Saturday, a little bit cool. The highs into the 60s up to the north, low 70s, something we'll have to get used to. It is fall coming right around that corner, but for today, not bad. Gradual clearing windows open with that low humidity, 76 for that high. Tonight, temperature Temperatures back and down to kind of where they were uh, last night into those 50s. Dry for football, good news for all the fans. Eight day forecast shows those temperatures hanging on to the 70s. Labor Day looks mostly dry with a slight chance of some light rain by Monday evening.